Hi, thank you for joining me today. Creating a food label in just a few steps is one of the more powerful features of Genesis R&D, and I'm going to show you how to do that right now. With your recipe on screen, the ubiquitous sample fruit salad, click view label. If this is the first time you've opened a label, it's going to be most likely a US label using 2016 rules in the standard format with the required nutrients listed in their correct order. From here, you can make many, many modifications. And I'm going to show you a few. The first thing you'll want to do most likely is add a common household measure or serving size and a number of servings per container. To do so, click Edit Label and select General. The rack for fruit salad is 100 grams, which I have determined is equal to a common household serving of one half of a cup. So I'm going to enter that here. And then I know that my package contains two servings, so I will enter that here. Let's click OK and see what we have. OK, we have a number of servings and a serving size. I want to briefly go over a few other settings, but I urge you to consult our manual or other labeling tutorials for more specific or in-depth instructions. Again, click Edit Label. Now, if you have more than one country's labeling module, we have Canada, Mexico, and EU as well, you will have the option to select regulations here. And then here is where you choose what category of label, here's style, format, footnote placement. This screen is basically where you would set up the base layout of your label. And then down here, depending on what country you have selected, there will be additional options. On the Format Options screen, you get a little more detailed. Here is where you can show or hide various elements on the label itself, and then select how they're displayed or calculated or rounded. Again, down here, these will change depending on what country you have selected. Now, for the Nutrient Options screen, many of the nutrients on your label can be shown in more than one way. This screen collects those nutrients and their display options which may include how to round. So let's look at carbohydrates, for example. So if carbohydrates is less than a gram, you can round to the nearest whole gram or you have these other display options. Voluntary nutrients. If you want to show nutrients other than the mandatory nutrients on your label, you will select those here. They are shown here in alphabetical order to make them easier to find, but when you select them and they appear on the label, they will appear automatically in their correct required order. And again, you can go back to the nutrient options screen to adjust how these are displayed. Object properties. This controls the display properties of all of the objects on your label view page. For example, you can modify the font size and style of your title here. And then supplement facts. You do have the ability to create rudimentary supplement facts labels here in Genesis R&D Foods, but I would recommend if you do so, check out our supplement software. It's a much more comprehensive supplement creation and labeling program. Regardless, these options that you modify your supplement labels and show specific nutrients or other dietary elements on them. And that concludes this tutorial. More tutorials can be found at our eLearning Center at www.esha.com. Thank you.